what's going on you guys so another dell optiplex this is the small foam factor and it's going to be tear down so you're going to remove the two thumb screws here in the back one on the bottom one on top and you're going to slide to the left the side cover panel uh, first what we have to do is remove the front cover plastic here Now, what I will do is remove the three and a half inch hard drive. And you're gonna disconnect the hard drive cage. And what you're gonna need to do is, you will need a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver. Disconnect the SATA power cable from optical drive. Move the RAM. Remove the SSD NVMe.2. You're gonna pull it up with the gel light like it comes out. Put this back. The PC right there, okay. Now I'm just gonna make the set of cables. Clip, you're gonna press it up with the gel weight and you're gonna pull the video card. And don't forget, you gotta press this up right here, gel, and then you're gonna pull it, hold it at the same time. Now, I'm gonna go on the back side. I'm going to remove the three screws in the back. Air bracket. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver and disconnect this right here. This is uh, also what it does, it locks in the hard drive cage right here, the clip, secure clip. You disconnect the six pin power. What I will do is I will go ahead and remove the CPU cool heatsink. I'm using the left hand so you guys can see the video better because if I use the right hand, you guys won't be able to see it. The video. Right now. You can disconnect the fan header to the motherboard, disconnect it. Looks like it's still locked on. And what I need to do is get a napkin. Paper towel, I'm just gonna wipe this off. 
I'll remove the CPU will be the last part before I pull the motherboard. When I pull the motherboard, I'll remove the CPU. Now, what I will do is disconnect the CPU, CPU power, four pin. Again, I need a flathead screwdriver. And I have to go around here. See that right here? It's all. And it's got a secret clip also right here. Secret power supply. Uh, you're gonna press it down and slide to the right. And there's a one screw right here you have to remove. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna start from the bottom. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. It looks like five screws have to remove. And there's one in right. Also on the top right. And one here in the left corner. Now you can disconnect your internal speaker here from the motherboard. And also the power switch right here in the corner, you have to remove. See that in the corner? Disconnect. And I'm gonna go and pull the motherboard out. And it's got a six gen CPU, but it will support uh, i7, i5, six gen, and a seven gen CPU. Is he's the motherboard. It's got a PCI Express times one slot, PCI Express times 16 slot, the blue one. Here's a battery socket. This is a USB header, internal speaker header. It's got a total of two SATA ports. This is for the card reader right here, the header. Fan CPU header. This got the serial header here. And it's like a micro ATX motherboard, but wider because of the USB ports are here. And audio in the front, and here's the power switch. And it's got a, here's the clear CMOS, clear, clear password here in the corner, don't forget. You guys right here, see that? That's a clear CMOS and clear password jumper right here, located in the corner. So it's got a display port, HDMI port. USB 3.0, 2.0, and gigabit LAN. This is the back side, the motherboard. Now will be the last part is uh, I'm gonna remove internal speaker here. And it's got a clipper here. Just generally just take a flathead screwdriver. comes out and the last part will be you guys is uh, internal here's a power switch see that spar switch and also it's hold by the clips and 
and do that and just go like this with a flathead screwdriver and it comes out. Power switch and power LED. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. I will make a separate video to for, for the reassemble. Thanks for watching. Bye.